Anyone have eyes? I filled two suits when I got here. I heard the shots from their store, Lincoln Avenue. Came around the corner as the getaway was leaving. Plate? Uh, 934219, Rhode Island. Local said a dealer in Providence followed a report last week. Never said a murder supposed to make sense, did they? Mm -hmm. More than that. A couple of hundred bucks in his wallet. No one's laid a finger on. Three slugs, two in the eyes. Third one he sucked the muzzle down his throat, made it come out the other side. Well, he wasn't in a rush, but he wasn't slow enough to get himself shot in either. What gotta give up anything? Well, the serial up to 37-2. Found down the road atoned inside the fire department. Must have tossed out the window. Any of these is blood? Sister in the white dress over there. Maggie. Canvassed her earlier. She didn't seem to like talking. Now that's a friendly girl. God's creation. We're still stealing it right from under his feet. Makes you think, don't it? What? When a man in the cloud doesn't keep his souls clean. No, I think he likes bullet holes and broken bones. We march off to a firefight, slap his name on the front. Can't say I blame him. FEG model, 37 mil. It's a German piece. The society is spectacle. Know why they call it that? Style with no substance. It's nothing in between. Sin. Only when that matters. Job not to give it to him. And I could say it's my job to be honest with you. Honest enough to tell you to drop the act. Because the Broadway's ever lucky enough to have you on top. You're not going to look into the light at the end of the first act and get the clap from all those empty seats. And do I get it somewhere else? Depends. On um, what? Luck. Do you believe in luck, Mr... Hill. Walter. And no. No, I don't. Maybe I'm starting to. Why? You were eyeing me up downtown. Same way as you're eyeing me up now. To me, you were the beating heart of a whole crime scene. I don't know what you call that, but I've never been that lucky in my whole life. I want to know why. Let go of me. 
He was your brother, wasn't he? You don't seem a tad upset about it. Most broads in your position be flooding the city like the Pacific. And don't think it's a coincidence I've met the exception. While well, we're at it. Company you keep doesn't put my mind at rest on me. Well, the world's not built on love, is it? Only thing the world's built on is fear. Love's just a stupid breeze that rocks you from side to side because you know life will never spit you out anything better. It's like spending every rise in sun in a bubble of fear like you and your little friends here. Just waiting for someone like me to come along and stick a knife in it. And then you get your first look at the real world. And it's frightening. More than that, it's goddamn terrifying. And you spend the rest of your days thinking it's going to cave in around you till one day it finally does. And there's the little old you. All alone, looking back at your 70 years. Trying to figure out where all the world turned to shit. Not as stupid as you look, I'll give you that. I can say the same about you. What's happening? Winning the war. How did you know about it? That we're all pieces on the chessboard. In the greatest game of chess ever played. Move slowly. Consolidate. And when the king gives you a shot, you don't miss. Sounds good. I got a bit of one. Smash your knights off each other to the wall broken. And pick up the pieces. Do it again. I think it's time to leave, Mr. Hill. Hey, is there a problem? Your ears burning.
What is that? The song. I don't know. It just sounded nice. Vera Lynn. What about her? Opinion. Bluebird. It's beautiful. Did you know two Americans wrote that? I didn't. Took two Americans three months to write that song. You know how many kids and double buckles died in some foreign swamp waiting for a song they never heard? Either the way. All I know is I wasn't one of them. But you can always wonder. That's what makes us really lose sleep. It turns a dream into something a lot worse. Wonder. Some would say it was their way of trying to keep you all safe. Someone also say men shouldn't trust the things that keep them safe. Or maybe that's why they work. At least that's what they tell you. Probably just another empty promise from the lips of better men. Rely on blindness and word them out to the oblivious. That's how they keep the world spinning for the next 25 years. Why do they send you? Okay, now I'm 41 to 42. France and then crack up by the end. You don't like to talk about it. Why? Because I saw something over there I couldn't put words to. And if I ever manage it, they won't be pleased and thank you. Not like the other poor kids who have to watch the sunrise and the bed of their own shit because they thought they could trust mom and dad with their feelings the night before. Life's like two pieces of sandpaper. You spend most of it stuck bloodied right in the middle, blood. That's all that comes out of it. Blood in your hands, blood in your... Blood if except where you actually want it. But you see, that's the problem with dead men. Whispers in your ear. It's a lifetime of bones in your head. I think I know how you feel. Hey, you said I wasn't upset about Joey. But everyone tells you to deal with it the same. Cry till your eyes are bloody. Then throw yourself in the coffin and get covered into it as well. Then spend 80 years remembering the good times. If there ever really were any to begin with. The one truth of death is some people just don't want to talk about it.
buried deep and make sure it never comes out. Or jump on life's back and let it carry you until that falls flat on its face. I've been alone since I was six. Till a year ago, the only memory I had of Joey was waving goodbye in the back of my mama's car. People don't forget that. I tried, but we were never close. Just when I saw him again last year, there was nothing there anymore. Just a face. A face that I didn't recognize. That I might have known once, but felt like nothing. I did. But you can't be close to someone who's as different to you as that one perfect voice you want to hear on the radio every night. You know, everyone thinks. The great war of their life is the dying breath of hate in the world. And everything after that is just that. A spasm. A spasm to peace. And it sickens me. The people still can't call their own bullshit lives what it is. A fucking lie. A joke someone hits you on the neck with on a punchline that points its finger in your face. Laugh. If all these years have taught me one thing better than anything else, we all have demons, sweetheart. But they're the only ones that make sure the angels don't fly away. I like this song.